Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. I am back in the building for another weekly haul video. This is number four for October. Number four. This is the last one for October because unlike some of the other months preceding, we only get four Fridays this month. So big ups to October and big ups to everybody else who has come through here. Let's see who is in the building already. We have Nice to Nasty, Pedro in the spot, Sandra Lott. We have Big Tim Windsor in the house. All right, let's get this thing cracking. There may be some more of you out there in the building. If you are out there, drop me a comment in the comment section so I can give you a shout out. All right, there we go. We have Epic Paul in the spot. We have Amda Brown says, in the building. All right, I like it, I like it. Let's get this thing set off here. Now, I know you guys have seen some big boxes up here and two of them are basically the same thing and I know what they are because I actually ordered them because I need them. They're not all that exciting, but they are part of my weekly haul. So let me go ahead and, uh, and put them, let me open these first so we can get them out of the way. And uh, actually, let me do this. Let me set some of this stuff down so I can make some room and then, Let's see, let me set some of this stuff down here. We'll make some room here, and then we'll open these big boxes up and get them off the table so that we can, we can, uh, we can then get it, keep, oh, I was about to take one of the big boxes off there. All right, let's get this going, that going, that going, and then we just have the two big boxes up here now, so we can get these, uh, we can get these going in there, so. All right, all right. All right, let's get this thing crack-a-lacking. Let's see what we have. And this first one is from, uh, these first boxes are from B&H. So as you can imagine, they're gonna be photo video related cause well, they're from B&H and that's always a dead giveaway. So let's see here. Let's see. We have a bunch of packing material. Throw that off to the side. Some more packing material. And let's see here, we have, <laughs> we have a, um, a sandbag. <laughs> As I told you, not very exciting this one here. So I think I get this out of the way cause well, but if anybody who has worked in film or video, shout out to Epic Paul out there who has a short film, I think that comes out today or this uh, very, very soon. Uh, he has worked in film, I know, and anybody else who has knows the importance of having sandbags with you, either in the studio or on set, because if you have lights set up and you have soft boxes on there or umbrellas on there, you wanna make sure that there's something to weigh them down because otherwise, you may have a gust of wind that picks up and will blow those things right on over and can potentially break your lights or hurt somebody if they land on someone, or, if you're in the studio and you're moving around and you bump into a light stand, you may knock over your lights and tumble over, or topple over and hit your, your uh, computer or a model or yourself or something. So it's always good to have sandbags that are ready to go. And I have a couple of them that I keep on my light stands here in my studio, but I, um, but I also have, um, I also have some other lights that I've been meaning to uh, to use that I have, I need to review, but some other lights I've been meaning to use and I wanted to take them outside and use them and I needed to get some extra sandbags. Now I could have just pulled the ones off the one, off the lights in the studio, but if I ever use them like on the go, I wanna be able to have sandbags that I can take with me and not have to pull from the studio. So let me, um, let me quickly go and uh, let me see if I can hop in to B&H right quick so I can show you um, so I can show you what it is that these, uh, what these sandbags are. So these are, just so you know, they are the Impact Saddle Sandbags. So these are Impact Saddle Sandbags. And I have the, uh, I have the 15 pound ones. They also make them in, uh, in other weights, but let me just, uh, let me show you here. Let me, uh, let me bring you in right quick. And... Here they are. You may these may look familiar to you because I've shown you these before. These are the uh, the 15 pounds. Now this is interesting because these are showing right here as 21.95, but when I actually bought these, they were like 16 bucks. And so the prices do seem to go up and down on these things, uh, depending on when you get them. But they're showing. Uh, this you can see right there. They're showing a. Uh, uh, 2195. I got one. Uh, I got one in orange and one in black, just like I did before. 
um, I like to do it that way. So I can, for instance, if I have two different types of lights, I can, uh, I can put one color on one light and one color on the other, and then it's easy to tell the, uh, my PA or whoever is with me what, uh, you know, what light is which, or they will know because of the bag there. So yeah, all right, let's, uh, let's do this right quick. Let's go ahead and open up, um, let's go ahead and open this up and let's see. And this is going to be the same sandbag, but it's going to be a different color. So let's get this one out of here. And alrighty, toss that off to the side, pack of material off to the side, off and gone. All right, and toss the box. And here is the other one. This is the orange sandbag. I really like these orange ones. I kind of wish they had a red one so that I could get like a black, orange, or red, maybe a blue one. I can get all kinds of colors. So, but I do like uh, I do like these there. So um, one thing that I do like about having uh, colors like this is oftentimes when you go on to uh, other sets or especially small sets where you're working in collaborations with other people, usually people get the most basic thing. Like a lot of people will get basic black stuff, which is fine. I have some black ones too, but um, sometimes stuff gets mixed up. Like people are like, I don't know which one's mine or which one's yours. And sometimes people have like janky stuff where they'll have a hole in their bag or something, but they don't say anything or something's weird with it. So one thing you should always do if you go and you're collaborating with people is write your name on there. Just get a big old Sharpie and write your name or your initials on your sandbags or whatever other gear you have so that it doesn't get mixed up. And also, uh, just if you know, for instance, everybody else has black sandbags or blue sandbags or red sandbags and yours are orange and you don't have to worry about someone saying, no, that's my sandbag. No, it's not because you had a black one and I have an orange one. So there you go. All right. There we go. Set that off to the side. Now let's grab everything else, put it back on the table here. We'll grab this stuff here, this stuff here, and this stuff here, and ah, this stuff here. All right, now we have everything back up here, ready to go. Let's set this stuff over there so give myself a little room to work. And, okay. Let's see, Epic Paul says purple sandbags. Ooh, I like that. Purple's my favorite color. Possible trivia question for a future Wine and Winners. But yes, I like purple. And so, uh, yeah, I could see I could see purple sandbags working for me, definitely. All right, let's see. We have a few more people that have come through. We have, uh, oh, let's see, Amda Brown says, I use ankle weights instead of sandbags, less space and easier to travel with. Good point. Good point. Ankle weights are um, are very useful. I've seen other people use ankle weights, not just because of um, the size, but ankle weights also have built-in integrated Velcro straps that you can simply uh, wrap around your uh, wrap around your stands, and then you can Velcro them there so that um, they stay put. So, um, yeah, ankle weights. I've seen people use those. Those are those are very handy. Um, let's see. We have Bev Brown in the spot. Let's see. We have Raffles PA in the building. Nice, nice. We have Phyllis Avery in the spot. So, all right, we have a few more people in here. All right, let's get the next thing opened up here. And um, we can go for a bag or a box here. What do you guys think? A bag or a box? A bag or a box? Which one should I do? A bag or a box? You guys let me know. I'm, I'm usually just running through stuff, but I'm curious. I'm gonna see the first couple people that uh, that pop something in the comment section that say uh, that say a bag or a box, and uh, and then we'll go. Man, I am I got hot all of a sudden. You know, when you get those shower sweats. I I took a shower a few minutes ago, and then I um, and now I have like the shower sweats. Let's see. You should open the box with your new knife you purchased the other day. Uh, that new knife is still in a box, so I can't open it yet. So uh, we'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> there's something to be said about delayed gratification. So there is something to be said. All right, let's see. I see a couple of, uh, let's see. I see a box. Somebody said a, the, the gray box. Somebody said a bag, gray box, bag. I see a couple of bags coming through over. It says you should offer them uh, to customize with your name. Oh, they should they offer it. Yeah, that would be cool. They probably could do that. They probably could do something like that. If you, depending on where you bought them, those sandbags, I'm assuming you're talking about. I see. All right, 
Shout out to Rita is back in the building. I see you, Rita, in the house. All right, well, the first people that I saw that came through said actually bags. I saw a couple of boxes, but the first one that came through said bag. The next one said box, next one said bag, next one said box. So we're just gonna go with the bag, then we're gonna go with the box. All right, we're gonna do this one here because I have no idea what this one is, and I'm kind of curious to see. And so, let's see. Ah, this is going to be a three-in-one wireless charger from Z uh, Zubar. From Zubar, three-in-one wireless charger. And this one looks like it's actually going to be for um, for Android. It looks like that is going to be a, uh, that looks like a Samsung phone on the charger right there. So look at that. All right. Well, let's see how this, let's, let's go ahead and scan this and see if anything comes up from on Amazon. But I'm curious to see how this thing is going to perform. I'm, I'm actually gonna do a proper review of this, I think, and see how it performs. Because the last time I had one of these, it did not perform at all well. It just, I mean, the watch didn't need, the watch wouldn't charge and that was just a, uh, that was a no-go for me. When you have a three-in-one and it doesn't, the, all three don't work, that's a no-go, so. All right, but this one I'm hoping will work and let's go ahead and let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can pull this up and get this thing going and let me see, let me, where's my, uh, Let's see, where is my Amazon page here? And let me open up my browsing history. And there we go, let me bring you in on it. And here we have it, this is the Zubar wireless charger and they don't even have a picture up there, wow. No picture at all, that's kind of uh, too bad. Yeah, there's not much to show you here because they don't have it, they don't have a picture up here. So, um, well, yeah. It's kind of, well, they have some, Looks it looks like they have some other people up here that have some other chargers, but this is not the one that I currently have um, on my, you know, that they sent me. These are different chargers, I guess, from the company that have made other chargers. So, um, but this one does look like it's $49.99. So it's gonna be wireless, as input volt is 12 volts, total USB ports is one, number of items one, uh, current amp is 1.5. Uh, two five amps says a three in one charging station. Samsung is specifically designed for Samsung devices. So now just so you know, a device like this will, or at the very least should work with all um, all wireless uh, wireless charging phones. If your phone uses the key wireless charging standard, it should work and your earbuds should also work where you end up with a uh, three-in-one station that is not specifically designed or is specifically designed for um, for a device has usually to do with the uh, with the watch because the Apple Watch and the Samsung Watch and the Galaxy Watch and they I mean the uh, the Pixel Watch all these different watches that wirelessly charge all use their own proprietary charger and so and charging standard I guess so um, yeah it's just it, it's um, it would be nice if it was all universal because then you can just use any charging stand you want, but it's not, and so, yeah. All right, let's see. We have William Silman in the building and Crystal in the house. All right, well, let's uh, let's just, I'm gonna open this later. I'm gonna, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and review this later, but let me just give you an idea again of what this looks like. I can't, un unfortunately, I can't really show you on their Amazon page because they don't have any photos on their Amazon page. So, but there it is. So, um, yeah, it looks good. It looks decent. So we'll see how it performs when we do the review. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Let's see here. Let's see here. We have, uh, somebody said a box, a box. Let's do, uh, let's do this box over here. Let's go, let's do this one and then we'll open up another bag because then we have a lot of boxes. Maybe we'll open a couple boxes in the bag. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's do, let's see. Should I open this side, that side? We'll go with this side here. Get this one going. And we'll cut right through there. And right through there. And there we go. All right. Get that going. Let's see what we have. Let's see what this is. Throw off the packing material. Packing material. Box. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. I have been waiting for this for months. 
I mean, literal months I have been waiting for this. This is the Insta360, um, the Insta360 microphone bracket for the One RS One Inch 360 Edition camera. And this thing, <laughs> it was supposed to have been out God knows how long. I bought my camera in July and I got this, and I've been waiting for this mic bracket ever since. It was supposed to have been out and they didn't get it out until just now. But let's open it up and see what it looks like here. So, um, so it looks like they're going to give us a mic cable. So we're going to get um, a audio cable that's sort of, it has a little hook there. So it's designed to stay within the seam line of the, uh, of the camera. We have a little, uh, we have a little um, Allen wrench here, an Allen key. So I'm not exactly sure what that is for but maybe we'll find out here. There's something else in here. It looks like this is a, uh, oh, this is a little um, a little locking knob. I think this may go on, maybe this is for the bottom here, so it goes into the camera there, so yeah. All right, so I guess we have a locking knob. Maybe we need something that's a little bit longer or something that fits in there. I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to try this out when I, when I get the camera up and going with it. And then this is the, uh, this is the, the uh, mic bracket. And the way this works is it fits on, I don't have my camera in the room right now, otherwise I would show you. This mounts onto the camera, and then you have your Insta3, you have your uh, your Rode Wireless Go that mounts right onto here. And the way it mounts is that it stays nice and thin and it stays in the, it stays hidden in the stitch line of your uh, camera so that even while you're recording, you don't actually see it. And so that's very, very nice so that you actually can get clean audio into your camera and you don't have to worry about having the microphone seen. So that's one of the, that's been one of the biggest problems with 360 cameras is being able to get clean audio into it and not have it seen. Now, the way people have done it in the past is they've just recorded their audio separately and then they've synced up their clips and post, which you can do, it does work. I've done it, I've been doing it that way, but it also is time consuming. And I've had some mishaps in the, in the past too where I've recorded audio and then maybe the audio got recorded over or something else has happened. So there's been some mishaps, but this is, will make it easier because the audio will be, court re, will be recorded directly onto the video file here. So yeah, all right, I'm happy to have this. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to using this and, uh, and trying this out. So this is, uh, this is also, I believe this also came from B&H. Let me see if I can get everything back in here, get all that stuff back in, put this back in the box. And I'm probably gonna pull this thing out tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm not getting, I'm not doing very well with this. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get all this stuff back in. Let me just shove it in there. We'll get it. We'll take care of it later. But this is, um, let's see, this is, and I don't know if this is, I don't think they're going to have something for this on Amazon, but let me just go ahead and scan it there. Now, I only show this for Amazon because I know that some people don't shop at, uh, at B&H because some of us are not photographers. Some of us are, but some of us aren't. And so some don't really think about shopping at B&H because, um, they don't really buy much, but a lot of people will shop at Amazon because they have Amazon Prime memberships. And so let me see, let me um, let me check this. Let me see if I can find it on B&H's website. And let me type in Insta, let's see, Insta360 mic bracket. There we go. All right, let me bring you in. And here we have it. This is the Insta360, um, the Insta360 One RS invisible mic bracket for the Rode Wireless Go 2. And there it is again. And we can see this is the camera and that's what it's going to look like there. So you can get an idea of how this is going to, um, how this is going to fit onto the camera. So you can see there, it's gonna run right alongside the camera there and then it fits right there. It just screws right into the bottom there so that you can, um, so that you can get this going. Now, I think the, the reason why they include that little, uh, that little adapter, and I think that adapter must have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom of it, is because this right here, it's already pretty, um, it's already pretty like thin as far as a connection when you connect to this camera for whatever reason, it doesn't screw in very deep. And so I guess this is going to screw into that little, to that little bracket and then that, uh, the little adapter and then the adapter will screw into the camera so that you have a, a deeper connection because there's gonna be this piece of metal in between there. So 
yeah. But basically the mic goes right there. As you can see, it's going to connect on there. And, um, and then you'll have, again, they have the audio adapter. They don't really show the whole thing all put together, but, um, but that's what you can, that's what it's going to do. It's going to connect right there. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to try it out. I've been wanting to try um, the camera with some clean audio. And uh, you know, I bought that camera because I really think it's sort of like the ultimate vlogging camera right now in a lot of ways, because you have, um, you know, you have uh, a camera that has one inch sensors and uh, the Leica glass that the glass that they use in a, in a collaboration with Leica. And so you're going to get better image quality with those larger sensors. So you should be able to, to have that great uh, combo with the Leica glass one inch sensors. You can be, you can shoot 360 or you can shoot and reframe so you can see your whole body while you're frame, while you're walking or talking or whatever. And then if you can also get clean audio in there, you don't have to worry about syncing anything later. You can just download the footage right to your phone or your tablet or whatever and just start sharing. So if I want to shoot a quick clip and then share it quickly on social media, I can do that now where in the past I would have to wait till I get home, put it on my computer, reframe it, sync it up and then post it. Now I can just reframe it on my phone and post it right away. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, this is the Insta360, um, the Insta360 One RS mic adapter for the One RS3, uh, uh, One is 360 edition. And it looks like Ulanzi actually makes this. So shout out to Ulanzi for getting that out. All righty. All righty, let's see here. We have, let's see, anybody new in the building that we have here? We have Ben, a swagger diaper middle school student, middle schooler student. Shout out to you, Big Ben. I see you in the house, or little Ben, because Big Ben's across the pond. Shout out to you. All right, let's go ahead and let's open up, uh, let's open this box here. It feels like there's nothing in here. I have no idea what's in here, but it feels like nothing. So let's open this one and see what we have. And uh, let's see here. And... Let me cut away from me. Let me act like I know how to use a knife. <laughs> All right, let's throw that packing material off to the side. And what do we have here? We have a pair of truly wireless earbuds. All right, these are the X9s. The, uh, the Byteen X9 wireless earbuds. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see, let's see, let's uh, let's hit the scan this barcode and see if anything comes up. And we do have something there. All right, let's see if we can, um, let's see if we can pull this up here and find out. Let me, uh, let me bring you into my browser with me here. And there we go, and there they are. Oh, it's showing biz, uh, bike teen on my, uh, on the back of the, on here on the, on the barcode, but it's showing, um, Hi Kappa, Hi Kappa X9 wireless earbuds, Bluetooth 5.2 head uh, headphones, waterproof stereo headphones, and ear and in ear touch control with microphone headset and deep bass for sport, gaming, and running. So these things are only fifteen ninety nine. Wow! And it says you can apply a ten a ten percent off coupon, which would give you that's let's see six fifteen ninety nine sixteen bucks. So they give you dollar sixty off. So you can get these for about uh, about 13 bucks or 14 bucks or something like that. So, all right, let's see. It says you get 48 hours of playtime. That's including the charger. That's including the charge that's on the earbuds and uh, the case. And you can see there it says you're going to get smart touch controls. So you're going to get volume controls, um, play controls, pause, previous, next track, answer and reject, uh, phone calls, and Siri. So. I'm assuming if you pair these with uh, a Google device, you'll also get uh, you'll also get controls for your for your Google Assistant if you need that. So it says outstanding hi-fi stereo sound. It says hip cap of Bluetooth earbuds equipped um, with the latest moving coil horn loudspeaker with bigger dynamic driver providing a, a reality sound for you. And then there you go. You can see it's a portable uh, mini charging case. So the earbuds and the charging case are designed to be carried around and they only weigh 4.6 grams. So, all right, let's do this. Um, let's open these bad boys up and see what they look like. Let's see what they look like. They're pretty cool there in, uh, on the uh, promotional material, but let's see what they look like in real life. Let's, uh, let's open this up, see what we get. 
And, all right. These things are very, very light, I can tell you that. I felt like there was nothing in the package, so. Um, all right, we have the T, uh, TWS X9 user manual. So if you need a user manual, you have that. And here is kind of the presentation of what you will get in the box here. So there's going to be, um, there's gonna be some extra ear tips in here that you can use. So if you need some extra ear tips, you can have that, or maybe if you need a different size. Um, you're going to get a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. I like to see that. I want everything to be USB-C. It just makes life so much easier. So shout out to them for the, uh, for the USB-C. And then here are the, um, here is the case with the earbuds in it. And wow, the case is scuffed up. Wow, that is really disappointing. Man, look at that. Can you see that? Hold on, let me see if you can see that. Hold on, let me see if I can get this thing to focus right. Can you see that around the edge there? It's all, um, it's all scuffed up. That's, that's, that's really disappointing. Wow. Yeah, it looks like, if I saw this, like, if, yeah. If this thing wasn't sealed up, I mean, even if it is sealed up, it like makes me think, are these brand new or not? Cause they're really, yeah, these things are super scuffed up. I'm not, I'm not excited about that at all. That just, yeah, I was gonna test these, but they look scuffed up. I'm not sure if these are brand new. It makes me not even wanna put them in my ears. Um, yeah, I mean, they look like they, I mean, I don't see anything on the inside there. They look fine on the inside. I don't see anything, but every time I see scuffed stuff, scuff marks like that, it indicates that something's really gone wrong. I don't know, something's up. Like, I don't know if these are refurbished or what, but I'm not gonna try them. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna try them right now. I may try them later, but um, before I do, I'm gonna grab some alcohol swabs and swab them and clean them just to make sure. I, I, that, first of all, when you when you pull them out of here, they, they weren't wrapped in any sort of plastic or anything else. They had scuff marks on them, so it does, it's not confidence inspiring. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, not right now. I'll wait until, um, I'll wait until I can get some alcohol swabs and clean them and then I'll just see how they sound, so, all right. All right, let me set these off to the side, but let me do show you. Let me bring you back in one more again. And there we have them. So if you happen to need a pair of truly wireless earbuds and you're on a serious budget, you can get these for uh, for less than 15 bucks because with that $10 off coupon, you're gonna get them for less than 15 bucks. And they do ship with Amazon Prime, so you won't have to pay anything to actually get them there, so. All right, let's go ahead and uh, keep this thing pushing. Looks like we have a couple more people that have come through. We have Russell Dye in the building. We have Della in the spot here. Um, let's see here. Um, I saw someone, oh, we have Monique 69 Ways Johnson in the spot. What is going on, Monique 69 Ways Johnson? That name requires that you say the whole name every single time. All right. All right, all right, let's keep it going. Oh, Mark Guy snuck in here. It says, hey, my brother, what's happening? What's happening, what's happening? I see you. All right, let's, uh, let's move it on. Let's get this bag open. Let's open this little bag here. See what we have in this little bag. I already know what this, I don't know exactly what it is, but I can feel that it's a phone case. And it is phone season, and so, People are constantly sending phone cases. So I appreciate it, because sometimes there's cases I like and need and want, and I can appreciate that. So let's see, um, let's let's throw this over there. And this is going to be the, the Heiwan silicone magnetic case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and this is going to be in lilac purple. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and scan it right quick. And let's see if it shows up. And uh, let's see, oh, there we go, showing up. Oh, it does, I do see the lilac kind of purple. It does have a look on there. It kind of reminds me of the color of the case that I had um, for my iPhone 13 uh, Pro. And that one was a leather case, but let, this one is gonna be a silicone case, so it's gonna be a bit grippier. All right, look at that. This is the the Heiwan silicone magnetic case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max compatible with MagSafe, comfort phone cover with microfiber lining, military grade drop protection for iPhone 14 uh, Pro Max, 6.7 inch in lilac purple. 
and we can get an idea of what that's going to look like here. We can see it says it supports all MagSafe accessories, so you're going to be able to use a MagSafe charging puck, uh, charging stands. You can use the wallet. You can use the charger. It's going to work with all those um, with all those accessories here. And you can see it says super comfortable silicone, so it's going to have anti fingerprints, anti scratches, and easy to clean. Now, also you can see it says four layer. Um, structure is going to have that microfiber lining, which is very important. You don't want to put your phone in a case that's going to scratch up your phone. Just you don't want that. You want to make sure your case, your phone's going to be protected on the inside as well. Um, you have it says a 38 grain N52 strong magnet, so that's going to uh, be in one of the inner layers. You're going to have a hard PC um, layer also inside that's going to give the case structure and help protect it. And then you're going to have a a liquid silicone uh, lining there on the outside. So. Yeah, all right, we can see there it says perfect body protection, uh, screen guard for the uh, screen and camera guard, so that's gonna help protect your cameras. So you can see that little lip that sort of raises over the edge, so that's gonna help uh, prevent your cameras from getting damaged if you drop your uh, phone. And you have raised lips that's going to come around the edge right there, because you know, everybody loves some raised lips. I mean, who doesn't? All right. <laughs> And then we have military grade protection, uh, drop protection, 5,000 drop tested, uh, 10 feet drop height, and zero damage. All right. I like it. And this is going to be $22.99, and you can get a 20% uh, percent off coupon. So that should get you down to about, what's 10% is going to be, what, about, uh, about $2.30. So 20% is going to make you at what, $4.60, so that should get you down to about uh, 17, 17 something, so 17.40, something like that, so yeah, not a bad price for a, for a case, not a bad price at all, and let's do this, let's, because I have my, uh, I have my iPhone right here, let me do this, I need to take this case off, and this case, I actually really like this case here, and, uh, but it, the one thing I don't like about it, is that it is very difficult <laughs> to get this case off and it looks like I might get it off without too much uh, without too much hassle this time. All right, I did. Got it off without too much hassle. Let me open this thing up and let's see what it looks like in real life and see if it goes on very easily. So, all right, looks like uh, inside here, we're just gonna get this and uh, this thing and this thing, a little bit of foam right there. And shout out to Sandra Lott, I see you, I'm gonna get you in a minute. And, uh, oh yeah, look at that. This does, this looks exactly like the, uh, the, this looks like exactly like the Apple version, except it doesn't have the Apple branding on there. It looks exactly like it. All right, let's put this in there. And, ooh, I like that. I like these. Look at that. That looks really pretty nice. I like that. And we can see here on the front here, it has that little bit of a lip there to protect it if it if you drop it and, and it goes all the way around. On the back there, you also have this lip right there on the that covers the uh, that goes around the camera bump so that it protects that there. Um, let's see here. The buttons are the buttons. Oh yeah, the buttons are nice and clicky. Yeah, the buttons are nice and clicky. I like that. Man, I have to decide if I want to even take this off my phone. I really do like this. The other case I have, it's like an Aramid fiber case. It's super thin, but I like this. This is slick. All right. Shout out to them. And look at this. It comes off. I like cases that come off nice and easy. I really do. That 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 is so very important. So, all right, I'm gonna, I, I have to decide if I'm going to use this one, but this is a case I like this. This is, oop, let me put this other part in. This is one of these cases that, will not be put in, uh, in the giveaway pile now or anytime in the, uh, <laughs> in the immediate future. This is a case that I very much like for myself because one, I like the color, and two, I like that silicone feel. Some people don't like the silicone cases. I absolutely love them because they are nice and grippy and they're easy to hold on to. And um, I don't like really slick cases. I like cases that have a little texture to them and have a grip. So. All right, again, this is the Heiwan silicone magnetic case designed for the iPhone, and this is for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, all right, there we go. Now, let me give a, uh, let me give a shout out to Sandra Lott. It says, $4.99 from Sandra Lott to, uh, for shipping. 
uh, for uh, giveaway postage. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And let me give you, uh, let me give you this one. You smart. You very smart. We the best. You a genius. Is this your game? Him? There you go. There you go. Now this is uh, let me let me ask you all a question. Here we go. Now we have a new Black Panther movie coming out. Black Panther, uh, you know, to Wakanda forever. And as we know, when you are when you are challenging for the mantle, you are supposed to fight the current king so that you can take the mantle. Now it's supposed to be Letitia Wright's character Shuri that's going to become Black Panther. Now, what are you going to do? How is if they strip away, if they strip away? the herb like they're supposed to when they do that challenge. How is she going to beat M'Baku? Or how is she going to beat uh, anybody else that comes and challenges her for the mantle? How is she going to do that? Doesn't make sense to me. But it is what it is. All right. Let's see. Russell Dye says, Larry, have uh, have you tested any bone conduction ear sets? Can't remember if, uh, if you had. So I have tested some bone conduction earphones. I'm not a fan of them, to be honest with you. I'm just not a fan. I, you know, I have tried, I've tried a number of them from, from some of the sort of no name manufacturers, people that, and I say no name names, you probably don't know of. I don't really know of. They're just sort of people that, you know, have, I call them sort of Amazon brands. And I've tested them by some of the brands that have, you know, that are probably more widely known. And I have not tested a pair yet that make me excited and want me to use them. I just haven't. Like originally the idea was that they were supposed to like sort of vibrate against here so that you can feel the bass and you get the sensation that you're having a, you know, a big bass audible experience, audio experience. I have not experienced that, not even close to it. So I'm not a fan of them. I, I, I get them, I test them. I'm still hoping to find a pair that works well, but not a fan. All right. All right, all right, let's see. All right, let's see. Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, uh, let's... somebody said this gray bag. Somebody a while back said the gray, this gray box with the, with the, the box with the gray on it. So let's do that. Let's do, let's open this one up. I have no idea what is in here. I don't even know who this is from, but let's cut through this. Uh, let's cut through that right there. Let's see if we can get this open and this thing. Man, I'll tell you what, they surely packed it up. They surely packed it up well. Uh, uh. Alright, let me cut through this top part here. Let me get let me get through some more of this tape. And let's see, we have um Omda Brown says, comics versus MCU. Yeah, you know, I'm having to realize that I just have to get over the idea that. The MCU is not Marvel Comics. I mean, it's just not. It's like... The MCU is basically... they. I mean, the, the, basically what it is, is they take the characters... And, they, and I don't, like... They take the characters, and it's really... It's really, they're Marvel-inspired movies. They're not Marvel movies, if that makes sense. They're really Marvel character-inspired movies. They, they, because they use the characters, but they don't really, they stray so far from the comics that I feel like you can't really call them Marvel comic movies. They're, they're sort of, they're inspired by Marvel comic characters. All right. Ah, yes, I knew these were coming. I just wasn't sure when. These are the Fluent Talk the Fluent Talk T1 portable translators. Look at that. Look at that. That is that is nice right there. This is a this is a translator. It says it has a four inch uh, QHD touchscreen. Um, it says you can ask for directions and chat in multiple in multiple modes. It has a mic a multiple mic array providing high precision recognition, two-year international unlimited data plan. That's very nice. So if you happen to go to some place, let's say you're traveling to China or to India or to wherever else in the world, and 
you don't want to have to use your data plan on your cell phone to try and use a translator app or something. You don't have to if you have a device like this because this has a two-year international data plan for free that's included so that you can just go ahead and use this wherever you are. So that is fantastic. All right. Um, let's see if I can scan the barcode here. Let me see if anything comes up. I'm not even sure if this, because this did not come from Amazon, I don't think. It, I think they sent this directly, so I don't even know if this is going to show up here. But let me see if, uh, let me see if I can get this to show up, if anything will pop up on here. And I don't see anything. Nothing. All right, let me do this. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can actually look it up and, and try, because this is going to, this, these things are really pretty cool, so... Let's see, we have Fluent Talk, and I don't know if there's a model. This is the Fluent Talk T1. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is by Time Kettle. Nice. All right. This is the Fluent Talk by Time Kettle, the Fluent Talk T1 by Time Kettle. This is a... a Language translator with four inch HD uh, screen, supports 40 languages and photo translation, instant translator device, no Wi-Fi needed, built in two year global mobile data for traveling. Look at that. Look at that, that is sweet. So you can see there what it's gonna look like, how you have the screen there. You have, a uh, looks like they have some shortcuts on there where you can ask for directions. Uh, you have tra ch uh, chat translation. Um, you have listen mode, you have uh, voice memos, user guide, and then you have your settings there. And you can see there's some buttons on the side over here so that you can, uh, so that you can have it, put, you can push it there. So I believe the way it is, one of them is probably like a mode button and a turn off and on button, but then you have a button usually for these things where one person can push it for their language and the other pu per push it, person can push it for their language and then you can go back and forth. So... You can see here it says it's going to have that two-year global mobile data for uh, for 40 languages. You have offline translation with 13 with a 13 language package. Oh, that is amazing! That is so so vital because if you're ever in a place where you just don't have access to mobile data, which we have all the time here, you may go into a building or someplace and you just don't have a signal. If you have offline translation, or like this gentleman, if you're on an airplane here and you're trying to, to have your uh, your your uh, your message translated, well, likely you're not going to have a signal, you know, on an airplane. So it's very very nice to have. Uh, man, that is great. All right, looks like it says uh, 0.2 second instant translations. Wow, that is that is fantastic. So they're showing. Looks like here they're showing Spanish. That. Um, that you're gonna have there. So you can push a button and get the translation going. And then you can see here, it says four uh, translations mo translation mode. So you can have um, one, cl one click translation, tra uh, tra tra chat translation, photo translation, and mode translation. Now this one right here is so important, this, this photo translation. This means that you, there's a camera on here and you're gonna be able to, to, uh, to hold it up to the kit, hold up the, uh, the camera lens to say a menu and take a picture and then you can see what's actually on the menu and have it translated to your language. Now this is important because I even here recently had gone to a, um, I went to a Korean restaurant where they spoke no English, nada, nothing, nowhere in there spoke any English whatsoever. And, and so I had, uh, I was, I was trying to, um, I was trying to figure out what was on the menu. I could not figure it out at all. I didn't have the Google Translate on my phone at the time. And the person that, the, the, the waitress that came up to help us, she spoke no English, no one in the back spoke any English. She just, we basically just said, just bring us food, just bring us food. And she said, okay, okay. So she just started bringing us different plates and different foods. It was absolutely delicious. I just wish I knew exactly what it was we were eating. <laughs> And, uh, and I wish we were able to communicate a little bit better. Something like this Fluent Talk T1 from Time Kettle will be amazing. Now, if you don't know who Time Kettle is, Time Kettle is a company that does language translation devices and they make some of the best in the industry. They are fantastic. All right, let me jump back in right here quick. We can see here, the uh, you can see the size of it there. It's gonna be very small and compact. It's only four inches. So this looks like it's gonna be about the size of maybe like a, uh, 
maybe like an, an old iPod or something, or maybe like an iPod, um, maybe like the old iPod Nano or something like that. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be very big at all. And um, now this is $299. So um, it's, not the, it's not the cheapest thing, but it is not, uh, it, it is, it is not overly expensive. If you're somebody who travels quite a bit, especially if you're a business person, or even if you happen to be here in the US and you deal with a lot of people that are not um, English speakers, or if you happen to be someone who's not an English speaker and you deal with a lot of English speakers, this can be a wonderful device for you. So, all right, shout out. Now I'm gonna do a review of these, uh, of this here. And so I'm going to um, I'm going to check them out. I, I have one to give away, so I will likely probably I don't know. I may give it away in the video, the review video. I may give it away on a on a wine and winners. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure how I'm going to give it away, but I have two of them, so I'm going to give one of them away. We'll have to figure that out later. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. So, uh, Sandra says, sounds like, like a trip is in the future. A trip is in the future. I just got boosted up and I'm ready to go. So, you know, they say you have to wait two weeks before your booster fully kicks in and takes effect, but I am boosted up. So I won't have to get, I got a booster shot um, and a, a flu shot. And that flu shot every year gets me feeling pretty draggled, you know, pretty bedraggled. I felt really pretty low yesterday and, and today I'm still dragging pretty bad. So, um, but We'll see. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be back up to full speed. And um, but yeah, I am I am looking forward to um, I'm looking forward to getting back out there and doing some stuff. And I I'm, I want to get on a I want to get I'm not really looking forward to getting on an airplane to go to, but I'm looking forward to going somewhere else. So airplanes are going to be the most efficient way. So that's the way I'm going. All right, all right. Donald D Nice is in the spot. Shout out to Donald D Nice in the building. I see you. All right. Let's see, Sandra says that device would work well in the school system where they have children that, uh, that don't speak English. <sighs> I have mixed feelings about that. I really do. Because sometimes I think if you give someone the, if you give someone a crutch, they will use it. And I know sometimes if you take a kid and you, he doesn't speak or she doesn't speak any English and you put them in an English only speaking school, they may be, they may be they they may be held back a little bit because that time it's going to take them to get to speak English. But I I remember when I was in seventh grade, I think it was. There was a young lady that came. I believe she came from Mexico, and she spoke zero English, absolutely Nathan, nothing at all. And I I by the end of the school year. I mean, you would have never have known she even came from anywhere else but California. She just sounded like every other California chick. I mean, you would just not know at all. She was, she, she picked up English so fast and so wonderfully. And I think if you, I, and I've, and I've seen this, I've, I, I've seen this happen. I've heard other people talk about it, that if you live in a community that supports your native language, you never learn your adopted country's language because you don't have to. And you, you see this in older people at times where they go to a new country and they're at home a lot or whatever. They speak their native language at home and they don't ever have to learn the other language because everyone translates for them. They never learn the language. They can be in the country for 40, 50 years. They never learn the, their adopted country's language. So I think sometimes, sometimes I think it's better to just let kids have to, you know, sink or swim. And I, I don't really, I, I've never heard of anybody really sinking. They always swim. So, yeah. Mark Guy says, big box on your left. Big box on my left. Let's do the big box on my left. Mark Guy wants the big box on the left. Gets big box on the left. All right, let's see here. Let's open this one up here. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Let's see if we got that. Did I cut through it? I think so. All right. See what this is, and this is. Let's see. Check that out. Packing material gone, and oh, ho, ho, look at this! Look at this. This is going to make a nice Christmas gift for somebody. This is the Christmas. This is Christmas candles and Happy New Year. We can see that right there. It's Christmas candles, Happy New Year. Look at that. This is from. Let's see. This is from. Uh, from Prime Volve, uh, Prime Volve 
And yeah, all right, let's see this. Let's see. There's a little, there's a little tiny, I don't see much of a barcode, but there's a little tiny one on the back here. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can open that. Let's see if this will scan. Oh, look at that, it's scanned. All right. Oh, these look super cool. All right, let's see if we can, let's hop back in to my, um, let's hop back into my web browser here. Let me get you, uh, let me bring you in. And here we are, look at that. We have Christmas gifts for, it says Christmas gifts for women, uh, candles set of 12, Prime Volve aromatherapy candles for a home scented, strongly fragranced, long lasting portable travel tin with spa bath, and uh, for spa bath and yoga. So look at that, you can see the different types of tins and you can see they're definitely holiday themed there. So you have the Christmas, um, all the Christmas themes there, the different, uh, some of them have, have Santa Clauses and, and Christmas trees and Frosty the Snowmans and all that good stuff on there. So reindeers and everything on there. Yes, all kinds of, a whole lot of candle cuteness going on there in that photo. So, and you can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. We can see, we, are, we could already have seen the box, but you can see uh, the candles there. And you, oh, these are which ones, these are what uh, scents are going to come inside. So we're gonna have um, English pear and freesia. Uh, Frizi, Frieza, I guess that's what it is. Peppermint, uh, strawberry, and uh, vanilla. We have lavender, lemon, jasmine, rosemary, um, gardenia, um, spring, bluebell, and bergamot. All right, look at that. That is kind of cool. And you can see there it says it's one. It's 100% soy wax, cotton wick, 2.5 ounces, and smokeless. That is fantastic. Especially that 100% soy wax. Some people don't like, um, you know, when people use like animal fats and stuff in candles. Um, you have the aroma, uh, aroma oils from premium natural ingredients. And then we can see there it says, again, yoga, uh, yoga, spa, uh, bathing, and sleep there. So uh, let's see the last one here. You can see just a family there with all of their candles lit up and enjoying it. So... It looks like there's another box there, so maybe they have another type of candles that you can get to. In fact, let's go, let's check them out. It says the Prime Vault store. Let's see what else they have to offer. So it looks like they have all kinds of stuff in here. It looks like they have space heaters and toys for kids. Oh, look at that. They have whiskey cubes for uh for uh for um for your whiskey. So you can put these cubes in the freezer and then you can drop these into your whiskey and they don't what, what the reason why people like these cubes is that they they keep your whiskey cool they cool your whiskey down but they don't um but they don't water it down because they don't melt so like ice melts and then it waters down your drink these types of cubes don't do that so um and then we can see these scented candles down here that they have to offer um they have a mother's day uh candle gift set that has um a gift set of four and these are very nice too. That looks like it's very nice. These might be, I think these might be a little bit bigger than the other ones. So um, yeah. And then let's see, we have again, the whiskey glass, uh, the whiskey, oh, this is a glass. This is a setup with glasses and the um, and the cube. So this is a whiskey glasses, uh, whiskey glasses set of two whiskey gifts uh, for men, 10 ounce bourbon glasses, uh, bourbon gifts for groomsmen, uh, dad, husband, birthday party, holiday. So yeah, so you get the you get the glasses and the stones there. So very nice. I like that. And then they also have other things like uh, you know like uh, thermals, thermostats, and heaters and all that good stuff there. Some fans in there. They they sell all kinds of goodness here. Apparently, looks like there's another type of candle set in here. And um, yeah, so. All right, they really do offer um, some different type of stuff in there that you can that you can get. But here is the Christmas uh, gift uh, candle set that's going to be twenty seven ninety nine, and they have an eight dollar off coupon, so you can get these for about nineteen ninety nine. These aren't even going to be twenty bucks. After the take eight bucks off the twenty seven ninety nine, that's going to get you down to about nineteen ninety nine. So yeah, very nice. All right, well let's do this right quick. Let's uh, let's open these up. I want to see what these actually. Um, I want to see what they look like and how, really how big they are, and uh, and what they smell like. So let's see here. Did I cut through it? I thought I did. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I cut through. I just I'll tell you this night, <laughs> the blade on this thing. 
This is a very thin blade, and you can see how that point is. It's very pointy, it's very slicey. That's what the people would say, they say knives like that are very slicey. And that knife, that knife, it cuts so thin at times that you can't even see where the, um, where the slice is, or even if you do see it, you can't always, like, it cuts so thin like it's cut, but sometimes it takes a little work to get in there. So, all right, let's open this up, and let's see what the presentation is gonna look like. Oh, look at that. Look at that, look at that. So that's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have this card here. It says happiness for you. And then it says best wishes on there. So they're gonna give you a nice card that you can, uh, that you can have in there. Now you can't really sign this card unless you open the package up first. So there, but it, it's, it's in there if you, you know, as a nice gesture. So here we are, we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 candles there. So yeah, let's open them. Let's see, this is, uh, I think this is supposed to be the bergamot. And oh no, this is the lemon. Let's see it. You know, I love lemon flavored stuff and scented. Oh, that's nice. Woo! Lemon always smells so clean. I love the way that smells. All right, let's see. This is going to be, um, let's see. This is vanilla. Vanilla is also another nice one. Ooh, that's nice too. That's pretty nice too. Okay, let's see. Let's find, oops, let me get that lid back on. I want to find, where's the bergamot one? Oh, this is jasmine. Jasmine's a fancy one. Let's see. Oop, can I get it off? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, that's cool. Sweets. This, this one smells very much like perfume. All right, let's see. What is this one? This is going to be, oh, this is the bergamot one. I like bergamot. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I'm about to light this one up when we, uh, when we get done. Ah, I like that a lot. All right, shout out to them. This is this is a very, very nice gift. I can see this being, you know what's great about this too? is that with that coupon, this thing is under 20 bucks. Now, if you happen to work in an office or someplace and you do, or you're at school and you have a Secret Santa a program that you guys have, oftentimes they tell people like, you can only spend a certain amount. Like you can't spend more than 20 bucks or something. And so sometimes trying to find a gift that actually means something to someone, like something that says like, I thought about you, not just like giving someone a gift card or whatever, like here's a $20 gift card to Starbucks, anyone can do that. But to find an actual gift that says, I thought about you, it can be difficult, especially when you have a price limit, like 20 bucks to stay under. But something like this, this could say, I thought about you. I really took enough time to sit down and think what you might like, and I did so under the $20 limit. So big ups, this is a great Christmas gift for anybody, and it's a great Christmas, uh, it's a great uh, Secret Santa gift if you happen to have a Secret Santa program. So let me just show you guys one more time. Let me just bring you back into the, to the web browser here so you can see that. Again, this is from the store, Prime Volve store and it's $27.99. They do have an $8 off coupon right now, and it's it looks like it's gonna be fantastic. And these are all the different scents that you're going to get in there. You'll have that, that English pear, peppermint, strawberry, vanilla, rosemary, jasmine, lemon, lavender, bergamot, bluebell, spring, and gardenia. So yeah, all right. Big ups to them. It's 100% soy wax, so all you vegan folk out there, don't have to worry about any animal fat in the spot, so. We have two left. And I know which one I'm opening first. This one. <laughs> All right, let's see what is inside of it. Let's see what we have. And uh, let's see here. Let's see here, let's see. Let's get that. All righty, all righty, let's go, let's go. Toss that over there, because we don't need that. And it's like I need to cut through this little bit here, so let me cut that. And, oh, there's three things in here. Ah, oh. all right, what do we have? We have, oh, so nice. I'm loving this. I am loving this. Cole. This is so cool. All right, shout out to Viltrox. Viltrox, in, uh, Viltrox is, uh, also makes We Light, and they wrote me and asked me, they said, hey, we have these new lights. We have this, S, uh, this SO5 
light. It's a very small sort of minimalist light. And we want to know if you're interested in reviewing it. And I said, well, here's the thing. I said, I've reviewed a lot of lights and a lot of these little small lights. They're cool. I said, if you want to send them out, if you want to send me one, I'm happy to send one. I'm happy to feature it in my weekly haul video if you want to send one. I said, but if you send me three of them, I'll actually review it because then I can show someone how they can take these little tiny lights and they can create a three point lighting setup and actually shoot some really nice looking video with these lights so that you can have say like a key light, maybe like a kicker light, and then have a third light in the background lighting up your background. And so they sent me three of them and I am going to make that video. So I'm excited, I'm gonna do a full review of these. Um, and you can get these in different colors. It looks like you can get these in, uh, well, you know what, let me do this. Let me go ahead and scan one of them. Let me scan one and see if they show up here on uh, on Amazon and I'll show you the details about it. And then, and then we'll go from there. And I don't know if this is going to, uh, I, I don't see the, it looks like it's bringing up something else. So yeah, let me see if I can just, let me go to Amazon right quick and see if I can uh, just bring it if I can just open it up. So this is gonna be the, let's see, this is gonna be the, the Viltrox S05 Light. All right, let's see if we can find it. And there it is. And this is not even very expensive either. This is going to allow you, look at this. This is gonna be, this is the Viltrox S05 RGB video light. It's app controlled so that you can actually control the lights with your app. So even if you're in front of the camera, you can have your phone out and then control each light so you don't have to go behind each light and try and uh, make the adjustments. Um, you can see it says on camera video lights with built in 2000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and 36,000 colors, 26 light effects, CRI 95 plus, 2800 to 6800 Kelvin. So this is gonna mean you can change that color temperature uh, throughout that range. There are LED light panels for photography and vlogging. So there you go. Now you can see there uh, what's gonna have, what's, that it's gonna have those RGB panels on the front, RGB lights. You can see what the back is gonna look like as far as the controls. You're gonna have a power button. It looks like a mode button. You're gonna have an up or down button to, uh, to go through the different modes and change things. Also probably change intensity. The screen there you can see is gonna have some data on there about uh, battery capacity, the intensity of the light and the settings and all that stuff on there. So um, yeah, you can see there you can charge this up from a portable power bank if you want. Um, you can see there, it's gonna have these different colors on there that you can get for the lights. So it looks like there's gonna be like blue and purple and, uh, and orange. So um, yeah, that's exciting, look at that. So, and then here are some of the other modes you're gonna have. You're gonna have the CCT mode there, and that's where you're gonna have that color temperature that's gonna, uh, that's gonna come into effect. You have the RGB mode on there so that you can, um, so that you can have all those colors within that, um, within that range there. And then you have scene mode. So you have 26 different uh, lighting modes that you can have in there. And that means you can have stuff like flash or burst or, or flash lamp or, or blink or wield, uh, weld, SOS, uh, fireworks, police, ambulance, um, candlelight, flame, CCT loop, TV, fireworks one, two, fire truck, um, RGB uh, loop, romantic. You're gonna have, uh, let's see, club one, club two, uh, red wave, green, um, let's see, uh, green, blue, cyan, and magenta and yellow. So the reason why, um, the reason why it's important to have those scene modes is if you, for some reason, um, if you, for some reason, want to imitate like a police siren or a fire uh, fire engine or something, or maybe you're making a short film as Epic Paul knows, maybe you don't, you have a scene where you're shooting someone that's next to a window or something and you wanna have a light outside that, Im that can imitate like a flash, like a lightning flash. You can do that with something like this because it has that lightning effect on there. So then you can have the lightning go off and you can add the sound effect in there later. And then you can have the person maybe jump like they're scared or whatever else. But it's important to have those scene options in there when you're doing some filmmaking. So yeah, all right. 
Now these, again, they're only going to be $29.99. So if you wanted to do a three light setup like I plan on doing for my review, you'll be able to do that for less than $100 because they're only gonna be 30 bucks each. So shout out to, uh, to Viltrox for this. All right. Um, and it does look like, it looks like, you know, let me just double check. Let me, uh, let me open one. It looks like they sent me a gray one, a, a millennial powder and a glazed blue. Let's check out the millennial powder one and see what that looks like here. So I'm going to open this one first. I'm going to, well, I'm just going to open the one. I'll open the other ones when I do the proper unboxing and then do that video. But let me, um, let me unbox this and see what it's going to look like. And... I'm curious to find, I think it said USB-C on there for the charging, but let's see. So it looks like we're going to get a, it looks like we're going to get a little, um, a little cold shoe adapter on there. So I was trying to get this out of the bag without ripping the bag, but uh, let's see if I can get that open there. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Yep, so we're gonna get a little, uh, little cold shoe adapter so that we can mount this onto our camera if we want to, that should work out nicely. Um, we are going to get a, um, we are going to get a, oh, finally, finally, Viltrox and Wheelight, thank you so much. For so long, they have had these little lights with the micro USB ports on there, and I hated them. I hated them, and now finally, we have a USB-C port on there, and I can use their lights on a regular basis. One of the reasons why I did not always use their lights on a regular basis is because they had those micro USB ports on there that used to take longer to, to, um, to charge. And if I was taking my lights somewhere, I couldn't, I always had to bring an extra cable for those lights, which I didn't want to do. So I just didn't, I just didn't bring them. So now I can actually bring these. So shout out to them. Um, let's see here. We have, um, we have a user manual here. So that's always nice to have. And then we have the light and look how small that light is. Look how small and cute that thing is. That is nice. Oh yeah, I'm super excited. So there is, there is the back of it right there. You can see the color of it. And this is called Millennial Powder on there. And let's see, let's, let's see if there's any juice in here. Let's turn it on. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, we can see it's starting to light up right there. And yeah. And so it looks like the light is sort of like set to a flashing. You can see where it's like sort of flashing on my uh, on my hands there. So it's set to a yellow, I believe it is right now. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to play with these a little bit and try them out, see if I can get the app set up on here. And then I am gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do a, uh, a lighting setup to show how you can use small lights like this to actually get your job done. You don't have to go and buy some ex big expensive lights. If you don't have the money, you can start off with something like this. Now, mind you, every time that, you know, anytime that you start shrinking down size, you always have some sort of compromise, some sort of pay, uh, uh, you know, you're not gonna get this, you may not get the same light spread and you're not probably gonna get the same brightness level. Um, and because it's small, you're not going to have the same battery life as, as if you had, say, a larger, um, a larger light that has a bigger battery. But that doesn't mean that you still can't get the same great quality of light. You just may have to have that great quality of light in a smaller area, and you may not have it for as long if, you're, uh, if you have a smaller battery. So, all right. All right, Epic Paul says with a fog machine, that would look cool. You're right, man. It would look very, very cool. So yeah, let's see. We also have Empress uh, Zen uh, uh, Quarian in the house, says, if I pronounce that right, it says, uh, this is a lovely gift. Those, uh, I love these product reviews. Keep up the excellent work with the channel. Thank you so much, Empress. I appreciate you too. I do, I do. All right. Let's see here. Let me let me just bring you back in one more again before we open up the last one. And this here again is the Viltrox S05 RGB video light um, with app control. And we can see here what it's going to look like. And you can see the different uh, power, power um, levels there. So you have like 1%, 50%, and 100%. So you can see the kind of brightness uh, gains you'll have there. And you can see the differences in... Um, with the color temperatures with like the 28K, 34K and 68K as far as um, the color temperature. And then you can see they have different RGB, um, different RGB colors you can use there too. So shout out. 
to Veal Trucks for getting the three of them out. I look forward to doing this review. And again, they're only $29.99. So there we go. All right, let me set these off to the side. We have one more to open up. And I think we all who have watched know what this is. If you have watched my, uh, if you saw my reel or my short, you know what this is. I am excited. I've been waiting to open this up. And I have said, I decided during this video, I was like, I am gonna give myself, I'm gonna have a little restraint and have a little bit of, uh, of uh, de not, you know, delayed gratification, but here we have it. Let me get this opened up. Let's get this little bit of popcorn out of there. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Here we have it. I'm super excited. I am super excited. This is the Benchmade Shootout. Look at that. Let's see if we can get that. That is the Benchmade shootout. This is a this is a OTF knife. It is featuring CF Elite. This is the black class. It is the the, the official model number is the 537 uh 537OFE. The 537OFE. So um yeah, man, look at that. It says, um, no, it says the box construction is 75% uh, post-consumer waste. So it's uh, even the box is going to be recycled. So now Benchmade, for those of you who don't know, is a, um, is a U.S. company. And so they are based out of, I believe it's Beaverton, Oregon. Yeah, Beaver Creek, uh, Oregon City. So they're on Beaver Creek Road in Oregon City, Oregon. So, um, but this is a auto opener and it has uh, CPM crew wear as the, uh, as the steel on here so let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and and cut through this little bit of plastic right there the little plastic tab so that we can get this open and oh, is there another one on there nope i think that's it all right let me open this up here and they always give you this little pouch in there the little pouch that they put everything in and it's in this nice little foam uh cut out so that stays nice and safe in there and you're also going to get a um you're also going to get this this little care use and care um, use and care uh, pamphlet there. Now, one nice thing, if you, if any of you are looking for a pocket knife, I I highly recommend considering Benchmade, and here's the reason why. One, it's American made, so they're going to give you a very high quality knife. They give you wonderful. Uh, they give you wonderful support with your knife. And the other, you know, the thing is, that I really love about them also is that I'm not the best at sharpening knives. And Benchmade has something called Life Sharp. So if you buy a Benchmade knife, you simply have to go in when the knife gets dull and you, you want to get it sharpened. You simply go in onto their website. You print out a form and you fill it out so that it's saying that you know you want to get your knife sharpened, blah blah blah, and you send it into them and they will sharpen your knife, and then they will send it back for free, forever. That's it. If you wanna get your knife sharpened once every two, three months or whatever, you just package it up, ship it out to them, and they will ship it back free of charge to you, sharpen your knife free of charge for you, and there you go, that's it. It's, it's pretty awesome. So anyways, they have some stuff on here about, uh, about oils and sharpening and fine cutting tools and all, but let's go ahead and get this thing out. So let's pull it out of here. And this thing is so light. I think it might be lighter than my Kaiser Cormorant. And there, it's a little bit bigger. We can see there, it's a little bit bigger than my current knife that I use. This is the, uh, my, my current knife. And it's a little bit bigger, but let me, let's go ahead and let's go give it the first trial. First, let me just, let me feel around a little bit. So let me show you a little bit. First of all, we have a deep, uh, a, we have a deep carry pocket clip. So we can put this in my pocket. It's going to be nice and deep here. So let me show you there. You put that in there. This thing is pretty tight right now, but you can see, let's get that in there. It's going to be nice and deep in the pocket there. So all you're going to really see is just the clip there. So that's nice. And then... We also have on here, this little tip right there is actually a glass breaker. I don't know if you can see that, that little tip right there. This right there, that is actually a glass breaker. So if you happen to be um, somewhere and you get stuck in a car and you need to get out, you can break the glass with that. It's interesting, just the other day I was watching a video 
where this guy was on the freeway in a truck and he had a seizure or something and he he passed out behind the wheel and people kind of got behind him and, and or got in front of him and slowed him down and he finally came to a stop and they were trying to get inside of his truck but his doors were locked they couldn't get inside and people were smashing all kinds of stuff against his windows to try and break it the windows would not break they finally broke one of the back windows of the truck somebody climbed in and unlocked the door and they were able to get him some help i was thinking all you needed was this, a glass breaker, and you would have been good to go. So, all right. What else about this knife? It, you may feel this This right here has some nice texture to it, so it's very grippy. And this right here, it almost feels like, um, I want to say it almost feels like grip tape on a skateboard. Super, super grippy. And it has a nice uh, feel to it. And then right here is where you're going to fire it there. So let's give it a first fire and see how this thing goes. Woo! Did you see that and hear that? Look at that, let's go ahead and pull it back right there. We'll pull that back and look at that. Wow, that thing fires with like, with authority. Woo! Oh, man, that is nice. That is nice. Look at, and this thing is so light too. That is, oh, I love this thing. <laughs> I have been waiting on this thing since it came out. I wanted to buy this thing a long, long time ago, and I have not been able to get a hold of one, and I have been, I've had my name on a list to get notified when it comes in, and now there was one time in June, mind you, this is October, in June, they sent me a message, they sent me a text message and said, hey, the knife is available. Now, there was a time before that they sent me a message that said the knife is available if you want to order it because I had had my name on a list to get notified. And I uh, and I tried to go in and get it. And even before I had even, before, like soon as I got it, as soon as I went to go check it out, they had already sold out again before I, when, as soon as I went to the website. As soon as I got that message, I immediately went to the website. It was already sold out. The next time they sent me uh, that message and said, hey, you have the opportunity to buy one. And I said, great, and I went to go get it, and I said, I can't buy it today. It was my wife's birthday, and I did not feel good about spending what was, you know, at the time, it was like $300 for a knife on my wife's birthday. I just felt bad, I couldn't do it, so I didn't, I didn't. And boy, did I pay for that, because it has been from now June, all the way to October, the end of October. Today is October 28th to the end of October before I was able to, been able to finally get one of these in my hands. Now, you know, many of you may know that I ordered one before. I ordered one and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I think I waited like over a month and they still didn't ship my, my knife. They just did not ship it. And I finally had to call them and said, hey. I called them beforehand, about three weeks beforehand, and I said, hey, any word on when the knife's coming in? They said, no, we don't know, blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, I'm gonna give it a couple more weeks and then I think I'm gonna cancel. So I waited a couple more weeks, still didn't come in, so I canceled the order. And I put my name on the list a couple more times. I would get my emails and my text messages. I would go check and they would be sold out again. So finally, finally, they sent me a message told me that the knife, actually it wasn't even that same company. I went to a different company and um, I went to a different company that's also here in Virginia, found them online, went there, which is funny. I don't know why I didn't think to go to them in the first place because I watch their videos every week. It's called, the, the company is called the Knife Center and they have a weekly video where they go through all the new knives of the week. Anyways, I, for some reason, it just didn't connect. I, I get emails all the time from another company called Blade HQ and so that's who I was trying to get my knife from. And I should have just went to, to, to Knife Center in the first place. So anyways, I went to, um, I went to the Knife Center's uh, website and they had, it, they had it in stock. I grabbed it and now I have it. So there we go. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me quickly, uh, let me go ahead and show you. Let me go ahead and open up. Uh, let me go ahead to the Knife Center and see if I can, uh, let me see if I can find this here. And there we go. Let me, let me, uh, let me bring you in. And man, I should have, 
I'm glad I didn't wait, but they have a they, they have a Halloween sale now. And you may see there's a Halloween sale. There's thousands of items reduced, including Benchmade. And they, it says you can shop the sale. And apparently if you spend, I don't know if this Benchmade is, I don't know if this bug out, I mean, the shootout is on sale. If it is, then I guess I'll call them and say, I just literally bought this thing. Can you guys give me the reduction in price? Otherwise, I'll just have to return it and rebuy it if it's big, if it's a big deal. But here's all kinds of different knives they have. It's called the Knife Center. And this is, let me uh, just go ahead and type in shootout. Oop, and there it is. This is the uh, this is the Benchmade shootout right there. And originally it was like 300 bucks, but it's uh, it's it's 270. That's what I ended up paying for it. And you can see uh, you can get a better detailed shot of the knife there than what I'm probably showing you right here. And yeah, you can see there is a deep carry pocket clip, and it's got like this really grippy sort of texture there, so you don't slip when you're uh, when you're firing uh, and opening the knife. You can see how it's sort of really thin there and it has that deep carry pocket clip again. And um, yeah, I just, I, I really, really like this knife a lot. The only thing that I don't like about this knife, the only thing I don't like about it that I'm, I'm okay with dealing with is I don't particularly care for the glass breaker. I would really like it if this right here was just flat. I would like that if that was just smooth and flat and you didn't have the glass breaker, or at the very least, if the glass breaker was actually removable. I would really like it if the glass breaker were remo removable because I don't really feel like I need that and I don't really want it. It's very, it's sort of pointy and I don't want that on there. I, I, I have thought about maybe filing it down or something and just not having it because I'm not a big fan of that on there. I, some people like glass breakers on there. Uh, on their knives, I'm not a big fan of them. But here are some of the specs. We can see it's about um, three and a half inches of blade length. The overall is about 4.71, um, or the overall length, excuse me, is uh, 8.22. The closed length is 4.71. It has CPM crew wear um, steel, uh, tool steel for the, uh, for the blade, so it's gonna be a very tough steel on there. Um, it's only a 0.1 inch or uh, 2.454 uh, millimeters for blade thickness. Has a Tonto style blade, which I absolutely love. I feel like the Tonto style and the drop point is my two favorite uh, blade uh, blade styles. And um, handle thickness is only 12.95 or half an inch uh, thick. Locking mechanism is a slide. Deep uh, pocket clip is deep carry and reversible with tip down. And look at this. It weighs 2.8 ounces. Two. 0.8 ounces for an OTF knife. That is straight up bananas. That's only 79.38 grams. That is straight bananas to have an OTF knife that is this light. I mean, I think my Benchmade bug out is like, I think it's it's not that much, it's not that much lighter than this. This thing is super, super light and it just fires with serious, serious authority. I love this. I cannot wait to next week when I'm doing my weekly haul video so I can unbox some more boxes with this. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun, so. All right, that's it. That is everything right there. Big ups to everyone who came through and uh, showed up and hung out. We've been on for a lot longer than I expected this time. Uh, let's see. Uh, Omda Brown says the glass breaker is more effective breaking out, not in. Ooh, good point. Good point. That may be the case. But from my understanding, like I've seen some people, I think who they do it wrong. I think they hit it and they try and smash it. I think the way this is supposed to work is you actually put it up against the glass and you push. And then once you have that force, it pushes and then it sort of breaks because you're, you're talking about tempered glass. Generally, you want for the glass breaker. You push it and it starts to put the cracks in there and then it, it splays out. So if that's from my understanding of how to break the glass like that. So, yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. KJ says, does your knife have a death ray too? <laughs> I don't know. It might. It might. Oh, we have Big Ledge in the house. Ledge broke my heart today, man. Ledge, Ledge just was teasing me. He says, hey, would it be cool if I come up this week? And I was like, yeah, man, come on. Come with it. And then he hits me back. Oh, no, I'm not coming. Sorry. I was like, oh, man. Got me. I think he was just messing with me. I think he just got me. I thought he was going to come down, hang out with me for the weekend so we can go eat a bunch of junk and then, uh, and then go home. But no, he's not going to be here, so... Alrighty, alrighty. We have Big BIV uh, Tech in the house. 
Shout out to you, says that looks like a sweet knife. I know, it really does though, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm so excited for it. All right. All right, says Ugg might have to copy you and get one. Does Benchmade sharpen when you don't buy from them? They will sharpen any Benchmade knife. They, you don't have to buy it from them. Like I didn't buy this from Benchmade. I bought this from the Knife Center. So um, if you buy, if you have a Benchmade knife, all you have to do is go on to their website and say, hey, you know, to fill out the form that said you want to, that you want to use your, uh, your life sharp, whatever. And just, and it's not like, I don't even think you have to register anything. It's just the fact that you have a bench made knife. They know that it qualifies for the life sharp, uh, program. You just simply go fill out the paperwork and send it in and they will, um, and they will send you, a, usually they'll, they'll send you a little acknowledgement saying they received your knife and then they will sharpen it and they'll send it back. And they're usually pretty quick. Now, I guess it depends on how many uh, knives and how much work they have to do and if there's a holiday or anything else. But when I, when I sent mine and I sent my Benchmade bug out in, which um, that knife still has very good edge retention. I think it's S35 or S30, uh, S30V uh, steel. And so it's, it has pretty good edge retention. But um, once I had used it probably for a year or so, and then I was, it felt like it was getting a little dull, so I sent it in to get it uh, sharpened, and they, it took maybe about, maybe about a week, something like that, because it took, you know, the shipping time to get it there, they shipped it, and there's time shipping back, it took maybe about a week, maybe about eight days, something like that, so. Um, now, my other Benchmade knife that I have, I have a Benchmade Mini Freak, and I have not needed to sharpen that knife yet. That thing feels like it's still as sharp as pretty much as when it came uh, out of the box. But that one has S, um, that one has S30, S90 V in, uh, S90 V steel. And that is an extraordinarily high, that, 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 that steel has extraordinarily high edge retention. So it's, it's S90 V steel. It has very, very high edge retention, but it's not the strongest blade. It's not the strongest knife. It, apparently S90 V steel can be a little brittle. So. I use that just for, like, I use all my knives. I use it to cut for packages and stuff like that. I'm not trying to chop wood or do anything harsh with it, so I'm not worried about breaking that knife. But this one here has crew wear, so it should be very, very strong if I needed to do something that may require a little bit of, uh, to put a little bit of pressure on the blade. It should be fine, so. All right. All right, Epic uh, Paul says we gotta collaborate one day. I agree, man, we do. We need to collaborate one day. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, everyone, it is, uh, it is getting late for me. It's almost nine o'clock here. I'm gonna get out of here so I can go get myself something to eat. I wanna say thank you to everyone that came through. Shout out to everyone. If you've won prizes, um, if you won a prize in my last um, weekly haul video, I wanna say uh, thank you very much, first of all, for showing up. I wanna say thank you again for everyone that uh, supported the channel and, and helped with shipping. Thank you all very much for that as well. I think there are about five people who have not yet sent me their, uh, their shipping information and you have until tomorrow because after tomorrow you will have uh, gone past the week time, the week period and your prize will go back into the kitty and I will just go ahead and pack up, pack up all the packages and ship them out um, probably Monday. So you have until um, till tomorrow to get that, to get me your shipping address. Now, mind you, even if you've won before, you need to get me your address. I don't keep people's addresses for a reason and even if you've shipped them out, you know, even if you've won before, you need to make sure you send me your address because some people will have moved. I don't know if you moved or, or if you don't live in a place you used to live. I don't want to send something to an address that's no longer yours. So you still need to get me your address. So, but I have about five people who have yet to get me their address. So please do so you don't uh, lose out on your prize. Um, yeah. Oh, one last thing. I'm not even going to mention it. I'm not going to mention it. I'll, I'll mention it. I'll mention it the next time I do the, the next weekly, uh, the next uh, Wine and Winners uh, video. And you guys, when you want me to do another one, drop me a comment. Drop me some comments. Send me some messages. And if you want to do another one sometime soon, I'm happy to do them. As long as I have shipping covered, I'm happy to do them and get the prizes out to you because I love to be able to share the wealth. As you can see, I get lots and lots of stuff in every week and I am happy to share all these great products that I get with you as long as, uh, as long as I can get the shipping covered. So, all right, everyone, thank you so much. It's been fun and have a great weekend. And I am Larry with today. I feel like, and until next time, love, peace and hair grease. I am out of here. Peace.